is Jim Nielsen. All right, guys, I know you're thinking what the deal was with that cat video. Now, here's the thing. If you want to learn how to set up WordPress sites to be used as a PBN, then you need to check out this video. Otherwise, you're going to fail miserably, just like our cat friend over there. I've never seen any single video teach anyone out there how to set up WordPress sites as simply and as effectively as this one. So you need to come right in and check out this video. Come on over. Okay guys, so right now I'm going to show you exactly how to set up a PBN site. So I'm going to assume that you've already watched our other training videos on how to get your site hosted. So once it's hosted, how do you set up WordPress, what plugins you set up, uh, how do you set up your themes and all that, we're going to explain that right now. So first thing you have to do is you got to go into your cPanel. So I'm in my cPanel of uh, No Name Internet. Um, now if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see a Softaculous apps installer for uh, WordPress, okay? Now there's, there's a couple ways to install WordPress, but this is by far the easiest. Um, if you do, uh, if for s some reason this uh, script isn't available for Softaculous, then uh, usually there is um, another option uh, around here. It, it, it might be under site software, right? So check that out if you don't find it. But uh, right now we're going to use WordPress, okay? So click on WordPress and you're getting soft tactics, okay? So this is a really simple way to install uh, WordPress. So hit install, okay? And what you want to do is you want to, uh, first of all, I, I usually choose www because that's uh, uh, where the more powerful version of my site is. And if you're not sure, throw your domain into Majestic SEO and find the one with the higher uh, citation flow and trust flow or you can do that in open site explorer open site explorer and it'll show you which version is more powerful and usually it is the the, the, the version okay uh, select your domain okay and uh, remove this WP um, I don't know why they have that uh, as default it uh, I've never had to use it before um, now next thing you want to do is you want to give your site uh, name uh, description and uh, all that good stuff, okay? So, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put in my site name. So, right, so normally I just choose uh, the name of the domain. Uh, you don't really have to get too fancy. Um, you can put blog, something like that, right? Uh, it's really up to you. Uh, there's no rule here. Um, and as my username and password, I'm just gonna enter that for a second. So I've entered my username, password, and make sure to uh, keep track of your email because we're going to be using that later. Okay, uh, I usually just put info at domain.com, or you can mix it up and do help or support or whatever, uh, and then you just have to hit install. Okay, so it's just as simple as that, and uh, you know within a couple seconds it'll be installed. So you can see it's installed right here. I'm just going to click on the URL, and if your name servers were set up correctly, it'll show up. Um, like so, right, with a default WordPress theme. So this is exactly what you want to see. Um, now, if you just set up your name servers um, in No Name Internet or whatever other registrar you use, uh, it could take up to uh, 48 hours for it to propagate. So don't worry if you don't see anything right now. Um, just check again in uh, 24 or 48 hours, okay? So now that we have this set up, let's go in and um, start... Uh, installing plugins and themes and all that okay now before we start setting up WordPress what we want to do is we want to forward our email to a email that we check regularly okay so I'm referring to the info at pbnname.com okay so let's go into forwarders what you're gonna do is hit add forwarder and then you're gonna type in the email name so in this case it was info uh, cm chma kawatha lakes dot ca i'm going to forward it to my personal email and then i'm just going to hit add forwarder okay so any emails you get to this pbn will now be forwarded to you 
Alright guys, now that we have WordPress installed, we're going to start setting it up. Now I'm in my WordPress dashboard right now, and the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else is to first select the theme. Now we don't just want to find a theme that looks pretty, but we want to find a theme that works as a blog network. Okay, so what we're looking for specifically are two things. First of all, the, the theme itself has to be able to display full blog posts on the home page. Okay, so you know a lot of themes only show summaries or excerpts of the blog post and they can be coded or modified to show the full blog post but you know that just takes too much work and too much time I just like to find one theme um, right off the bat that already does what we need okay so the first thing is has to display full blog posts the second thing is on these blog posts it, ha it has to display the links on the home page okay I've seen blogs that you know, you can put a link on the blog post, but it won't appear on the home page. So we want to be careful of those two things, okay? So the way we do that is we go to Appearance Themes. Now here are um, some of the installed default themes. You can add new to uh, select some free themes, but I usually like to stay away from the free themes because you never know what's installed within the code, right? Sometimes there could be malicious code. Sometimes uh, buried within the code, there could be links to other sites. Um, and that's, you know, you, you find that very often in free themes and plugins, right? So I like to stay away from that stuff and just use uh, paid themes. So the paid themes I recommend, you know, if you are looking at getting some are Studio Press, right? And the good thing about Studio Press, uh, that, well, they run the Genesis theme, first of all. Um, and you can buy a whole, I think it's about 70 themes you can buy from them or 100 for a bulk price of maybe $200. Um, they they work very very well incredibly simple to use so I would highly recommend them the other one that I use often is elegant themes um, you can see here 87 themes for only $69 so just combining studio press and elegant themes amongst those two you'll have about 200 themes let's say um, for a couple hundred dollars and you can reuse those for all your PBN sites all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and install my um, my Genesis theme and I'll be right back okay perfect so what I've gone ahead and done is I've installed the beautiful theme pro um, by Genesis right so we got our Genesis framework and we got the child theme right here so what I'm gonna do is first test to see that it works for our purposes because even amongst the Genesis themes not all of them display uh, full blog posts right off the bat so we want to make sure that this one does so I'm gonna go to just the default post and I'm just gonna hit a few line spaces, put in a random link, right? So here I'm gonna put Forbes.com, and then I'm just gonna put some more text just to fill the space. Um, whatever. Okay. So this is just to test whether it'll show the full blog post, and then I hit update. Now, what I should see when I visit the blog now is I should see the full blog post showing up and the link okay so you see here's the link I click on it, it takes me to Forbes uh, so that's perfect okay um, and then you can see the full blog post showing up so this is exactly what I'm looking for right um, now we're gonna modify everything else later so don't worry about it looking empty um, but right now this is a good theme so I'm just gonna go ahead with it. I'm going to trash this post and move on to the next step. Now a couple maintenance things we need to do. Uh, first of all we've got to change the settings, in, the general settings to be more specific. So if you didn't use Softaculous then you're going to have to change the site title, tagline, uh, WordPress URL, make sure you're using the more powerful version of the site. So that's either the www version or the non www version. And again, you know, if you don't know which is the more powerful version, throw your site into Majestic and find the one with more powerful stats, okay? Um, so, since I use self type this, all this is filled in for me, there's nothing I need to do. Um, so, I'm just gonna move on to the next step, which is permalinks, okay? So, permalinks, these control the structure of your posts. So, obviously, you can see here, you know, It'll just be your post name. You can have others that say archive one two three. I usually like to have one that shows the post name, uh, so it seems more relevant, right? So usually this one, these work too, but 
the thing I don't like about them is they're too specific with the dates. So if I do end up choosing this, uh, I usually remove the month, right? So then I just have the year. So then it becomes more relevant. Um, and then so let, let's go ahead with this one and just hit save. Okay, so a couple of other maintenance tasks I need to take care of before we move on. Uh, we go to users, go into your user. So this is my username right now and obviously I don't want this showing up on my blog post because then people can brute force their way into my WordPress site and you know we want to protect our sites as much as we can so we want to hide our actual login name uh, so let's just put a nickname and I'm just gonna call this um, James Jones okay just a random name uh, anything will work and then just hit save or update Now the last maintenance task that I like to take care of right away is uh, going into the widgets. Okay, so over here we have a bunch of sidebars. You see, you know, this will be different for every theme, but uh, amongst the Genesis themes, this is what it always looks like. So we have our primary sidebar, which is uh, this right here. Okay, so what we want to do is put some text here to make it look, you know, a bit natural. So I'm gonna grab the uh, text widget and then I'm gonna start filling in some text okay so let me just do that and I'll be right back alright so you can see right here that I've filled in a bunch of text for the about us page and it, it just looks like this um, so you can see this looks a lot more natural um, obviously you know it could be written a bit better but for uh, for demonstration purposes uh, you know this looks this looks pretty good the way it is okay I put in a image right there you know just to give it some more depth um, and you can see right here I used HTML for that so nothing too complicated uh, very basic stuff so far okay so next we want to start adding some plugins okay so we actually have a uh, full list of plugins that we use um, and you know just if we go through each of them one by one it'll take forever you know it's actually just really simple we have a list uh, that you can download right below for free so I'm just gonna put that list there and uh, you can install them it really is pretty straightforward you just go to add new and then you uh, select your plugins and you install so there are two however though that I really want to go over because they're very important uh, for any PBN and the first one is link juice keeper okay now with the link juice keeper what you don't want to do is first of all we're gonna install the plugin okay um, so actually while we're in the plugins uh, the other one I'm gonna install right now is spider spanker uh, and so specifically spider spanker pro not the classic and I'll get to in a sec why this is very important um, but you know I'll install that and I'll uh, hold on so you can see here that I've installed the two plugins link juice keeper spider spanker pro so let's start with link juice keeper okay so what this does is it funnels all the link trees from the inner pages to your home page okay so if we look at here for example what it basically does from a technical standpoint now let me see if I can move this up a bit okay so from a technical standpoint you know if I go to a random page um, you can see it redirects back to the home page right so if you have a non-existent page um, like test whatever it'll just go back to the home page what does this mean so you have a bunch of inner pages that have links um, that have existing links but those pages don't exist right now okay so what this is doing is it's funneling the link juice from those inner pages so for example uh, inner page one um, and it's funneling that to the home page so that your home page is the most powerful page of your PBN site okay so that's why it's very important for us to install this plugin so now the second plugin that we have is um, spider spank pro okay so this is equally as important for any PBN. Now we want the pro version and not the classic version uh, because it has additional features which I'm gonna show you in a second. So first just click on SS Pro. Now it's gonna ask you for a license key. This is a paid plugin, but it's very, very worth it. So let me just enter my license. So I, I've registered my Spider Spanker and I've um, set it up the way it should be set up to block all the uh, agents and IPs so from a very simple standpoint what this does is it prevents visitors that you want 
uh, visitors that you don't want from visiting your site okay so these could be spammers um, these could be uh, sites such as Arefs or Majestic right you don't want them crawling your site because uh, then it starts logging you know where you're linking to and all that so um, it prevents competitors from being able to see your PBNs that's one thing and it also prevents spammers and you know bad IPs from visiting your site okay and you can see right here the pro version uh, blocks IP addresses and the classic version doesn't do that so make sure you get the pro version um, so this is very important once again to prevent competitors from seeing your PBNs you don't want your PBNs revealed because uh, they could be flagged or you know your competitors could do uh, malicious things to them that you don't want okay so those are the two plugins that I highly recommend now moving on um, let's go ahead and do the next thing which is uh, you know essentially we can start using our PBN uh, our, our site as a PBN now right we just have to create some posts uh, and create some links on the post but before we do that let's give some more depth to our website because we don't want it just to look like a thin site like this uh, because it'll easily get flagged like that okay so first of all let's create some pages now here we have a sample page uh, I'm just gonna delete that and the two pages um, that I always create are the about us okay about us and then we have the uh, contact us page okay so um, sometimes I add a few more just to give it some more depth um, you know you don't want all your sites to look exactly the same because that leaves a huge footprint uh, so you want to kind of mix it up vary it up as much as you can uh, so these two are just uh, things I always put in there and then sometimes I'll add some other stuff like a private privacy policy page or or other other stuff like that okay so let me just fill these in and then uh, I'll get back to you alright so I've created a about us page and a contact us page but before that can show up on the blog um, as you can see right now if I visit the blog uh, it won't appear because it's not on the menu and we haven't set that up yet so for the genesis themes you're gonna have to set that up manually so just go to appearance menus and all you gotta do is just click create So once the menu is created, just like primary navigation menu and save menu. Now once I set up, just refresh the page and you'll see that it's now showing up here. Now I've created my and about us, so you can see I, I've put some images in it, uh, put a bunch of text, um, you know, just put a link to the contact form. Uh, really just trying to make it look as natural as possible uh, from, from a glance. And then you can see the contact us page right here. Now on the contact us page, I've put a form so it looks very natural, very good, and uh, just put some brief text here as well. Okay. So again, all this is just to make your PBN look a bit more natural. Um, now you can go as far as you want. You can start creating social profiles if you want. Um, you can change this header banner, but you know at this point you can really use you can start using your your site as a PBN. So you can start creating your posts and start linking out. Okay. Now. I'm not going to show you exactly how to uh, create your post right now. We're going to have that in a future training video. Uh, if you already know that, you know you're all set to go ahead. Um, if not, you know you can you can still play around with it, create your posts, uh, and uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Okay. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, um, and if you have any questions, once again, we're always here and happy to help. Okay. Talk to you soon.